Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make a totaling column formula in Excel. So if you're looking to sum up all the values in different columns, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to show you guys two different ways of how to make totals. So the first way, if you're trying to add up all the rows first, I'm going to make the H column, in my case, my totals. And I'm going to go down to my first set of data here, so the first row that I'm going to be working with. And I'm going to set it equals right here. So in, underneath H, I'm going to set equals. And then I'm going to type sum, so S-U-M, and then parenthesis. And then I'm going to just hold down my left mouse clicker and drag over all these items. And then I'm going to do an N close parenthesis once I've selected all of the data. Now that we're in a formula here, you can just grab the bottom right corner of this cell and just drag it down. So this will total up all of these individual rows here. And then if you want to have a final total at the bottom, I'm just going to do equals sum again. It's another sum statement. And I'm just going to drag all these totals down. And then do an end parenthesis once you have all the data in that. And hit enter. So now you have a total for all this. And if you wanted to do individual totals for each individual column, again, it's the same principle. So equals sum. I'm going to drag down all the ones in B and then end parenthesis. And if you want to be a little speedier, again, like we did over here, just drag this over all the way to the right. And some columns are, have zero values in here, so don't be alarmed. And you see that all of our totals have been added up. So I could just put totals right here. And this will be each column total, which should sum up to the same amount. So if you actually highlight over all of these, see the sum is 715 down here and again if you highlighted all of these items in here it should also be again 715 and if I added these three up again 715 so it doesn't matter if you did the total horizontal or vertical it doesn't really matter you're still gonna get the same sum I just want to show you guys how to set it up so I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.